JV's 24, Day 2, Episode 8, previously on JV's 24. In order to gain Tricky Rodent's trust, Legispiritus broke her out of the police station and showed her the decapitated head of Alan Cumming. She now believes he is a congregate helper and asked him for assistance in her next step to kill Aqua Hamza and Sex Pants Crotch Bastard once they come over. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Dark and Light Princess were sitting together alone in Jigman's living room. I'm still shocked that you haven't been dead for all this time. Well, I'm sorry that you thought so. Why didn't you tell me? Please, Light. As much as I wanted to, I couldn't. I'd have to put you in harm's way. You could have trusted me. I don't think you understand. Sea Shadow was assassinated because I called him last week. Really? Yes. I trusted him to find out and stop whoever was posting a threat to the release of Platform Racing 4. I thought the phone call was safe, but apparently someone was listening. Oh. I did it for your own well-being, Princess. Just by standing here with you, I'm putting your life at risk. Unfortunately, I don't have another choice right now. Lord knows we're already paying a steep enough price to save this game. As they were sitting in the living room for a few more minutes, a breaking news story interrupted the television program. Breaking news! Flesh shot! I am standing outside the house of Alan Cumming where his eight-year-old son just came home from school, only to find his headless father dripping blood on the living room floor. Despite the boy's terrible shock, he managed to call 911 on the house phone line. I am standing here with Alan Cumming's wife, who came here from her job when the local police called her and informed her of her situation. Tell me, Miss Cumming, how did you feel when you heard of the news about your husband losing his head? Seriously? Fuck off! Oh my god, what kind of fucked up world do we live in? I can't believe someone would chop a guy's head off. Uh, yes, I agree. That's monster. How rude. That's just... sick. Yep. Hippinator came into the living room. Dark, Legisperitus just logged into PR2. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh good, I'll be right there. 14-20-42. Game, Platform Racing 2. Server, Daron. Chat room, Mod. Hey there. Oh, hi, Tony. Any news? Yeah. Tricky wants me to kill a couple of congregate guys. LOL. Why? Apparently, she thinks they pose a threat to the operation. They're coming over in like half an hour. I hope you understand what must be done. These two people must be sacrificed for the good of Platform Racing 2. Yes, Jigman. I already got that clear when I saw Dark saw off Cummings' head. Good. I have no problem taking out two people who are actually involved. Hey, Tony, what's up? Dark, you son of a female dog. Have you seen the condemnation news? What news? Me and Tricky Rodent just watched it, dude. A six-year-old kid is now traumatized for the rest of his life because of what you did. Oh. That. Yeah. That. And now half the police in the state are looking for us. Wait, they know who did it? No. Then what are you so worried about? There is going to be an investigation, dumbass. Oh, come on! They can't possibly know it was us! What kind of person do you think I am? I got rid of every trace of us before we left. You better hope so. Look, we did what had to be done. Would Tricky Rodent have trusted you otherwise? Well, no. There you go. All right, you're right, I'm sorry. Okay, so is there anything else we should know? Oh yeah, a guy named Sugar Monkey is supposed to come over soon. Sugar Monkey? I know that guy. Tricky Rodent says he has a package for us. I don't know what it is. Well, keep your eyes open. It should be something critical. 142905. Game, Platform Racing 2. Server, Daron. Chat room, Main. Jigman is online. I wonder why. Because you taught yourself at night. LOL. Mega Brody is online too. And Hipponator. And a Silva. I guess they are in the mod room. It says four people are in it. They're probably discussing different strategies of approaching Mount your mom. LOL. Who knows what they're discussing? I already said what they're discussing. LOL. LOL. Procliffo, why don't you join the mod chat and find out? 
LOL. How? That's up to you to find out. Okay. Prawn, you don't want to know. I kind of want to know. Trust me, you don't. Do you know something, Prin? Come on, say it, say it. No. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Trioxide has given Micro one warning. They have been banned from the chat for 15 seconds. 143607. Website, Congregate. Chat room, Platform Racing 2, room number 1. So it looks like Princess knows something about Dark and the guys. No, Princess Beautiful would never kill someone. Eh. LOL. I thought Python said not to speculate. I know, Knight. It's too early to know anything. We can still make assumptions like a bunch of shitheads. LOL, I guess we can. But should we? Yes. What's the point of speculating? I'm sure we will know sooner or later. The mods have no right to keep from us. You don't even know what they're keeping from us. They don't want us to find out because they're breaking the law. Like, I honestly am going to start a revolt on JV. What good would that do? I know when I find out. Okay. White Pro, don't. All they'll do is ban you. Damn it. it. LOL, hi, Bither. Hi. Bisser, have you seen that Z shadow thread? It's out of control. What? It's gotten even worse. Yeah. Oh, Lord. The whole thread got completely ignored. That's it. I'm unlocking it. 1442.20. Website, Jigman's Village. Section, Discussion Hall. Thread, Z shadow is dead. I'm telling you. Z shadow was a born sinner. It was fate that shot him. Hackno, what you've been saying in this forum is not only offensive, but disgusting. I get that you're trolling and shit, but there are times like these when it's not really appropriate. Why don't you just leave this fucking forum? You do realize you're giving him exactly what he wants, right? LOL. Laugh out loud. This thread went overboard really quickly. Well, I'm going to like this thread for obvious reasons. Sorry, Pluck. 1452.07. Legisperidus was still with Tricky Rodent in her house, and finally heard the doorbell ring. Tricky Rodent opened the front door, and Joe Bob came in. Well, I guess Aqua Hamzar and Sex Patch Cross Bastard haven't arrived yet. Nope, you're the first one to arrive. So, you're the one who broke out Tricky Rodent, huh? That's right. I'm a very secret person in this conspiracy. I take orders from an anonymous source, and I was told to break her out of the police station. Do you have an idea on who this source is? No idea. I take orders and don't ask questions. That's how I stay alive. I see, you're that type. Well, thank you for helping us out. You're quite welcome. So, uh, who are we killing now again? Two members from Congregate. They had a hand in what's going on today, but they screwed up earlier. They appear to be a little ability, uh... The doorbell rang again. Guys, shh! Here they come! She opened the door, and Aqua Hamzar and Sex Pants Crotch Bastard walked in. Hello, people! It's a pleasure to meet you guys! Yes, we are indeed happy that you have given us this opportunity. Legisperidus noticed they were the same people who tried to kill him at Z Shadow's house. He attempted to hide his face, but it wasn't long until they realized who he was. Hey, wait a minute, you... Dude, he's the guy you nearly sprayed with an AK-47. What are you talking about? Don't listen to these goofballs. They're not worth the time. He's the guy who helped Dark. Dude, don't believe a word he says. You need to kill that son of a bitch. They're lying to you, Tricky Rodent. His name is Legis Meredith. He's a JV staff, for fuck's sake. Kill him now. As the situation was growing more and more tense, Joe Bob pulled out his pistol and fired one bullet through Aqua Hamzar and Sex Bench Crash Bastard's head in one perfect shot. They fell dead on the ground immediately. Shortly after, Tricky Rodent picked up a vase and hit Legisperidus in the back of his head, knocking him out. Clean up this shit. We'll deal with him later. 15 o'clock. Thank you for watching, and this is Justin Bob 100 signing out. How did you feel when you heard of the news about your husband losing his head?